hello and welcome this is our first tutorial and we're going to be talking about html this is complete beginner stuff so we will start from the very beginning so let us see what html is about and html is simply hypertext markup language we can say it is the language for the web every website you see it has html in it which i'm going to show you later we have i opened google and i also opened facebook so i'll go further now there is something which is called syntax and syntax is a way you can write code in a particular language for html the general rule or which we can say the general syntax is like this there is a tag name and then you have some contents and then you have another tag name so the difference between this first tag name and the second tag name is that this one has a slash inside of it so this is known as an opening tag and this is known as a closing tag so we should take note of that whenever we're writing html as we're going to see we're going to see that we'll be using tag name often so this tag name can be anything let's go for that to see i'll go to i'll open vs code visual studio code i believe most of us have gotten it downloaded already so if you open it you sh you could you should see a welcome screen you can close that so what we're going to be looking at is what we have here now i will just click on this one let's forget about the rest of them for now and then if i click here i have something open folder and we can open a folder which we're going to be working on here so i'll click on open folder and i'll come to my desktop tutorials this is where i want to store this so i want to create these are some of the tutorials i already have so i want to store html and i'll create this and then i'll open this folder and click on open here so what happens is that you can now see that folder is what we have here anything we're going to be storing or using is going to be stored in that folder here so the first thing we're going to do now is to create a file and the file i'll call this first project first project dot html so this dot html is an extension it tells um the interpreter whatever we're using that this is an html file so treat it as an html file if i am to save it as something as dot js it's now javascript if you can see these changes if i'm to use dot py you can see it gives us the python icon but we are working on html and that is the symbol you can see that opening and closing tag here and when we press enter the page should open for us so now we are here the next thing we're going to do is to i'll write h1 and automatically it will close for us so this is an opening tag and this is a closing tag you can see that slash here so if i'm to put in something like okay let's say welcome to html i'll save this and let's see this on our browser so i'm going to go to the place i stored that file if i am to open this you can see what we have here welcome to html which is the same thing that has been stored here which we have written here so now i opened it on my browser and you can see welcome to html what this means is h1 means heading one we're going to look at that as we go further but on its own i'll show us something if i am to inspect this page if you're using chrome you can right click on this page and you click on view page source you can see that is the only thing we have here h1 welcome to html i opened google let us see what is behind the hood in google so if i right click and view page source so we can see a lot of things are happening under here there are a lot of things that is just being powered this front page we can see here there are a lot of things behind that so we would if you try to understand all of this now it could be confusing even for me sometimes most of the things i see here are still, are still confusing but i want to show you something now i will right click on this page to view page source for facebook as well and we are going to see something else i'll show you this one again let's close google but we have the page source opened let's close facebook but we have the page source open let's leave this one then we come to our project and we see this so you can see something that in this one there is something called 
doc type the thing actually started with doc type and all and if you see this one it's the same thing doc type but on our own page it is just like this so that means in order for us to write code properly we need to include something which is known as the html boilerplate and it looks like this so we have a doc type and we have an opening tag for html and we have a closing tag here and then we have the head we have the head closing tag and we have the body now the html wraps the head and the body basically most people will tell you that html is made up of two parts the head and the body which is wrapped in this and then this doc type is trying to tell us that it is an html5 file all right now let's come back to our vs code and see how we can write all of this so on our vs code we can simply begin to write doc type let's see how it is here we have a, a an opening um brace this less than sign we have this symbol doc type html and all so we can begin to type all of this but there's a simple shortcut which we can do this in um vs code hold down your shift key and one you have this symbol a vs code comes with something called image so it automatically um works on abbreviations so if we hold shift and this that is shift and one and we press enter you can see the whole thing comes for us so let us take a close look at this this is telling us that it is in english you want to write if you want to write a web page in france you can change this to fr but we are working with english so let's leave it as it is and there are some other things here which we can ignore for now i'll just delete them their metadata we're going to talk about them as we proceed but now we have a title which is called document i can change this to let's say first work and we save this now if we come to our page here rather and we load it we can see this so so whatever you see here it is from this title so if we change this to first work and we save this we come to our page and reload it we can see these changes so we go to google and i type school what this is the title of this page so if we click on this kids education and all that and you click on that for it to open you can see the same thing here this is coming from the title of this web page so you should take note of that moving further we also have um the closing head tag the title and some other things will be in the head tag which will explain but now coming to the body we can now put in our h1 but if we're using emmet you can just put h1 enter and it completes it for you we can put welcome to html class and we save this now we come back to our page here and we load so we see we have this first work and welcome to html class if we try to view the page source now again we can see we have the same thing that is in the other place i want you to this should be the first assignment you will have to do there is something that is common in this one and this one which is um this chart set utf so i want you to find out what this utf 8 is about and you can post it in the comment section so programming is all about making research when you see things happen in different pages you should try to find out why the video is getting quite long so we're going to stop here and continue in the next section